أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وعصبه ونستنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers and sisters الحمد لله we start by praising Allah سبحانه وتعالى and we send our salam and salawat on Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم we ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to forgive our sins and shortcomings and ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to accept this time and effort that all of us are giving to learn the book of Allah سبحانه وتعالى as good deed from all of us and have blessings and mercy on us in this world and in the akhirah inshallah ta'ala Alhamdulillah, uh, I apologize first to start a bit late today. So inshallah, we'll go to a normal timing next week, inshallah, because of some work I had to come late. Uh, so I hope everybody will be okay with that. So inshallah, I have started the recording. And we'll try to finish it as quickly as possible today because I know it's a bit late uh, for most of us. Uh, it's already 9.30 now. Uh, so we're going to talk about the third uh, properties of an ism, the ism property number today, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, we already touched it a little bit when you did the uh, uh, status and everything, like, you know, numbers are in Arabic, it's like, you know, singular, dual, and and plural. So we're going to talk about a little bit more about that today, inshallah, and this that's fourth property, okay, it's third property. So before we start, we'll have a quick review of what we have done so far, right? So we have learned three kinds of word. Every ism has four properties. Harf has no property, okay, status of an ism has dua, details, and after of, rafana, seven, jar, as we call them. Status can be determined by two ways ending sound and ending combination and we always look for ending combination first you must remember all the combination okay the light version and the heavy version all isms are either masculine or feminine there's no neutral gender we talked about gender last week we're going to have a quick review on that as well there are singular dual and plural in forms of isms so which we're going to talk about today masculine heavy chart feminine heavy chart masculine light chart feminine light chart and we know how heavy becomes light we take the and then win out, so make single kasra, fatha, and dhamma, or the noon sound that's in the combination. Each combination has a noon. If you take the noon from out of the combination, that becomes light. Okay, and there are four reasons the ism become light. Partly flexible is one of the four reasons. There are three more reasons coming up in a few weeks, inshallah. Ta'ala. Light means no ten win, as we just mentioned. Ism are mostly fully flexible. Only few words are partly flexible and few are non-flexible. Partly flexible isms can never have ten win. Okay, all the names, most of the names that we talked about, places name and name of the non-Arab people, right? And meaning they are always light, never heavy. Partly flexible can never have kasra in their last letter. So un or u for rafa. An and A for Nasab and Jar status. Okay, so this is very important. Okay, please do not forget that. Okay, in the Quran, six prophets' names are fully flexible. Okay, we talked about those. Four are non flexible, rest are partly flexible. Okay, partly flexible words can be name of places and non Arab names. Non flexible words are usually ends with Alif Maksura or a single alif, okay? And there are some other non-flexible words also coming in future, and I'm gonna mention them as we go through, okay? Uh, al is a harf, we talked about al. Al and tanvin can never be together. Words that has al, they're always ism, 99.99% time, okay? Neither light nor heavy, they're irrelevant, okay? Al can stay with words that has ending combination. So al and combination has no problem. Al has problem with tanvin, so al and tanvin cannot stay together. So these are the points that we have done in the last four weeks. Then last week, we talked about gender, and we're going to review the gender today, inshallah ta'ala, before we jump into our number thing, okay? So in gender, uh, and we talked about some examples here. Uh, so in gender review, we say there are six type of feminine categories. Everything else outside of this category is masculine. First category is biologically feminine. Everybody understands that. Like a mother, mother, sister, aunts, hala, you know, everybody is like, you know, feminine, okay? A word that ending with ta marbuta or alif mamduda or alif maksura. And there's a rule for that. The Alif Mamdud and Alif Maksura has to have three letters before that. And we did this in, in, in details last week, right? And you have the video and the PDF. Body part that comes in pair, for example, Shafatun. Shafatun means leaves, okay? So that they, anything that comes in pairs, they are they are feminine. That word is feminine. Even if they we're talking about one single of them, okay? If you're talking about one eye, still it is feminine because the word eye is feminine because usually it comes in pairs, okay? And names of places, 
for example, you know, Egypt, you know, Makkah and all these places are also feminine. Non-human plurals. This is the most important one. Okay, this people get confused. Anything plural and which is non-human, they're always, always, always feminine. Okay, always feminine. Anything non-human plural. Okay, and today we're going to talk about plural also. The same category will come up today. Okay, and there are some feminine because the Arab said so. Okay, B A S S means because Arab said so. Okay, B A S S. Okay, so and I give you the list. So, like for example, Ard, Shams, okay, Fire, okay, Wine, okay, uh, 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 Staff, all these things, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in that list that I gave you last week, those are uh, Arabic words that are feminine because the Arab, they decided this will be feminine. There's no reason behind that. They just decided that. Okay, so these are the six categories of feminine everything else is masculine okay so this is what we do in gender and i didn't give any exercise for gender because i'm going to finish inshallah a number today so we're going to give you exercise next week which will include our status number and gender all three we have only one property left that will cover inshallah next week which is type then we cover the all four properties of an ism status number gender and type okay so we're going to talk about type next week okay Let's go to number today, okay? So if you can see on the screen, we are talking about ism. Ism has four properties, status and gender we have done. We're talking about number today and we're gonna do type, you know, uh, in next week, inshallah. Now in number, when we did our chart, Muslim chart, we already, if you remember the chart and you have to remember the chart, I'm saying again and again and again, this chart, the singular, dual, and plural column, you will need it all through the course, okay? So you have to remember that, okay? Which one is Rafa? Why it is Nasa, Nasa Banjar? Why it is Una? Why it is Ina? You have to have a full, you know, uh, idea about that one and you should be very confident about your chart, okay? And then when you can do good in the next courses, okay? When you did the chart, we already see three columns, the singular column, dual column and plural column those are numbers singular dual and plural unlike english we have an extra column called plural okay like a dual okay so there are different types of categories of numbers singular dual and plural as we said three different kinds okay singular is very simple in the all, all everything that is coming singular column is singular okay duels are also we know that the combination okay ani and aini tani and tiny okay the plural has some extra categories so that's how we're going to deal with the plural today, okay? Singular is singular. So, okay, by meaning, and it all most of the time singular ends with tanvin or maybe a single U sound, A sound, E sound, if they are light, okay? Dual, usually, most of the dual, most of the dual are out of the combination. Ani or aini, tani or tiny. These are the two, masculine and feminine. If you make them light, then A and I, ta and tai. Okay, if you take the noon out. Those are the dual one, simple as that, okay? But the plural has some other category and there are six kinds of plural, okay? There are six kinds of plural, just like we have six kinds of feminine category, we have six kinds of plurals, okay? Let's look at them, okay? And out of the six, three you already know. You already know three of them. For example, masculine plural, plural. The ends with una and ina. We already did this, right? In, the, in our chart. Anything that ends with una and ina, because we know the chart, so we know they are plural. And not only that, we know they are masculine plural. Because una, ina cannot be feminine because they are from the masculine chart. And that is the reason the charts are very, 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 very important. Okay. So una, ina ending is giving us masculine plural. And they could be light as well, u or e. Okay. So whenever I talk about chart, it's not only the heavy chart. You have to have at the same time light chart also in your head. Okay. So heavy and light and, and heavy becomes light without the noon. Right. So masculine plural, una, ina, it includes omen as well. And I mentioned this before. So when you, when in Arabic, when you say something Muslim, una, okay, all Muslim, it may have all the uh, masculine or it can have combination of masculine and feminine. Okay. So the masculine plural is always inclusive. It may include only men. It may include men and women together. Feminine is exclusive, okay? Human feminine plural, the second category, atun and atin, which is from our feminine chart, okay? These are exclusively feminine. They cannot they, have, they cannot have masculine inside them, okay? So use for feminine. So Muslim, atun, Muslim, atin, all these are from the chart. Non-human feminine plural, also atun, atin. 
okay meaning samawatun sayyaratun but still you can still find them by looking at the atun and atin so what we are trying to say here atun and atin that we have in our feminine chart this atun and atun could mean something human like for example muslim atun muslim ladies okay uh, salihatun you know uh, honest uh, ladies okay some mu'minatun okay believing ladies okay and they can also have non human thing as well still with atun atin for example you know samawatun sayyaratun means cars and skies okay and also we know anything non human plural are feminine anyway okay so this one two and three just from our chart nothing else una ina is from our masculine chart that's why they are masculine plural atun and atin same atun and atin can have two division atun atin could mean something human human feminine human something non human but still we have the indication our combination is there atun or atin okay so this three is nothing new this is all from our chart okay so these are the out of the six categories three is already we know okay let's look at the next three the next three number 4 and 5 these are the most uh, important in terms of plural okay and from my experience because you know alhamdulillah you guys are I'm, I'm doing, this is my seventh year most of the people get confused with number 4 and 5 what is human broken plural what is non what is broken plural basically what is broken plural means i will give you some english example then you will understand what is broken plural if i ask you if i ask you in english to make something plural for example if i say pen p e n pen how you know make it plural you would say p e n s you attach a s with that if i ask you okay book how you want to make it plural books you add an s at the end how about car cars okay sometime you know if i have box i have a box of chocolate box boxes so you add e s so sometime in english we add s sometime in english we add es this is common this is very common in english isn't it those type of plural which you just add an s or an es these are called normal plural in arabic the instead of s and es if you find a plural with from our chart like una ina or atun atin those are normal plural those are normal plural meaning you can think like this way in english we add s or es in arabic normal plural if it is masculine we do una ina for una is for rafa ina is for nasab and jar just like our chart atun and atin atun is for feminine uh, uh, rafa and atin is for nasab and jar feminine okay so those two atun atin and una ina is similar to e s and es in english so those are normal but in english for example tooth what is the plural of tooth in english teeth you can see in the screen right goose is geese did you s tooths with a s no house is houses no problem but mouse is not mouses mouse is mice ox is oxen child child is children it's not childs with a s right sometimes in english and many other languages okay? even in spanish and you know, in some other language also the plural word is not by adding an s and es rather it's a new word the spelling is different little bit of different either something adding some letter is being changed like tooth is exactly the same as teeth the double o became double e goose double o became double e mouse is for some for i don't know why you know and we don't know it became mice it's of five letter it became four letter right and there, there's a c and the c came from somewhere ox we add an e n oxen child we add r e n with them so there's no rule for these ones these are abnormal plural or in another way they are called broken plural so plural that doesn't get add s n e s in english i'm talking about okay in english okay then if they have a different spelling just like you see in the screen right then they are called broken plural they could be in arabic also there are broken plural and the problem with arabic is in english the broken plural is not that much but in arabic there's a lot of broken plural broken plural has no rule you don't you can i can set a formula that oh okay if there is double o it will be double e no not always 
Okay, so I can say in Arabic, okay, this means if, if there is the letter is this, there should be next letter is this. No, there's no rule for that. Then how are you going to learn? You learn it with experience, okay, with knowing and everything, okay? And usually broken plural, it has very similar kind of word, but some extra letter comes into that, okay? So there is no way to know it unless you learn them. Just like if I ask you, brother, how did you know tooth become teeth and mouse become mice? You will say, brother, I learned it in when I was in, in kindergarten or maybe in year one or year two. My teacher taught me, maybe we memorized or something, okay? And then slowly, slowly, we used it many, many times and we learned it, okay? Child is children, right? We know that, okay? Nobody likes child, okay? Maybe in the in our childhood, we make some mistake. We met child, then we corrected, teacher corrected us, you know? And then it's, so it's just an experience. Just like that in Arabic also, the more you read the Quran, you will find broken plural, okay? And you will understand that, okay? You have to know the meaning because you're just beginning of this course. So even if I give you a plural now, broken plural, to find what is the rafana uh, subjar of this broken, I will tell you the meaning in English meaning and I'll put an S there, okay? And we'll see some of them. Now, broken plural in Arabic can be divided in two groups, human broken plural and non-human broken plural. Human means plural, that's broken, but they're human, something human meaning, okay? And non-human is non-human, okay? Let's look at some example, then you will understand, inshallah. Human broken plural. Usually human broken plural ends with un and in sound. So when you look at that word, broken human broken plural, it seems like it's a singular word from your Muslim chart, like Muslim, un, Muslim, and Muslim, okay? But actually it's not. The, the, they look like they are singular, but they are actually plural. You would know this only by their translation. So only by your vocabulary, you'll know them. Treated either she or they. Okay, so that's point number C. I'm coming a bit later, okay? Let's look at some example first, okay? Nabi. Nabi means prophet, okay? Nabi means prophet. Nabi has two kinds of plural. Nabi has a normal plural. Nabi also has a broken plural. The word Nabi, everybody knows what Nabi means, right? Nabi means prophet. The plural of Nabi is Ambiya. Okay, prophets. Okay, and this is a broken plural. But the word Nabi also has a normal plural also, like Nabi Una and Nabi Ina. That is also correct. Like Una Ina is also there. But Nabi has also a broken plural, Anbiya. So the word Anbiya, U, if you look at the word, there's no Una Ina here, right? And it looks like a U sound, okay? If I don't tell you the meaning, you will never know it's plural. There's no way you can know. I have to tell you that this means prophets with an S. Then you will know that, okay? But then once I tell you that, then you know, oh, okay, broken plural. Now, when you know this is a broken plural, human broken plural, because prophets are human, right? So it's a human broken plural. Human broken plural, the word itself, although it's broken plural, so anbiya means prophets, okay? Prophets, so not one prophet. Maybe like, you know, if I talked about, you know, Allah sends, you know, uh, three prophets to a city, okay? So three prophets is anbiya, okay? But the word prophet, because it's a broken plural, human broken plural, the gender of this plural is could be she and one, meaning treated as singular and feminine. Or it could be masculine and plural, or masculine or feminine plural, okay? And I'll explain this more because I know it's confusing. It sounds confusing. I'll explain more and more and you'll understand, okay? Let's look at another example. Rasul, okay, the word Rasul means messenger, but Rusul means messengers. Rusul means messengers, okay? The word Rusul means messengers, means more than one messenger, but this word itself, you treat it as singular and feminine. Although they are biologically, they are not feminine, but the word itself could be singular and feminine. It could also mean masculine and plural also. No problem, both. For human broken plural, two things can happen. Their gender, you can always consider F1, meaning feminine and one. Okay, the word, not the real thing. Real thing is obviously when it's plural. Okay, it's more than one. But the real thing is feminine and singular. And the real gender also. Obviously, all Rasuls are masculine, right? Then why are you saying it's feminine? It is a weird rule in Arabic. That, you know, when it is more, meaning plural, the word itself could be feminine or singular or masculine 
in like normally masculine or plural. If both is correct. In short, we can say it's one F singular feminine or three M meaning plural masculine. It could have both meanings. Okay. Uh, alimun. Okay. Alimun means scholar. Alim. You know, we, we always call uh, he's an alim. This brother is an alim. He does a lot of studies. Okay. That means scholar. And ulama means scholars. That's another broken plural. It's not alimuna, alimina. Okay. It's ali, uh, ulama, u. It's a completely different word. Right. Again, same thing, scholars. Okay. And the word scholars, ulama, u, is considered, you can have two of this. 1F, meaning singular feminine, or 3M, masculine, plural, or th um, plural masculine, okay? Let's look at non-human broken plurals, okay? Non-human broken plural is pen. For example, pen means kalamun. Kalamun is pen, one pen. Aklamun means pens, okay? But for non-human broken plurals, you have to remember one thing. The word of that plural word, so aklamun means pens, the word aklamun. It is gender is always she, because we already learned last week, anything non-human is she, feminine, okay? And it is singular. It considered grammatically singular. I know this is weird, but try to concentrate again, okay? So if I say I have five pens in my hand, the Arabic word I'm going to use is aklamun. Okay, aklamun, and I I literally holding five pens. I know it's plural in English, okay, but the word for these five pens is aklamun. That word is feminine and is singular. You have to consider it as singular, okay. That is the rule of the broken plural. Same thing with book. I say I have ten books on my table. The word book singular is kitab, but kutub. Kutub is the broken plural of kitab and it's non-human. So the word kutub, if I give you in the exam, what is the gender of the word kutub? Kutub means books, B -O -O -K -S, books. And you understand, okay, kutub means books. And I can easily see that this is not a normal plural. It's not una, ina, atunatin. It's kutub is books, it's a broken plural. And it is a non-human thing because brother, give me the meaning already, books. So what is the gender of it? Feminine. Always, always, always feminine. And what is the number of it? Not plural. Number is singular. Because broken plural is considered singular. Broken plural, non-human broken plural is always 1F. 1F. Okay? So this is a weird thing about the broken plural. I know it's confusing. But you have to understand that two kinds of broken plural. First, you understand what is broken plural. Okay? Human broken plural non-human broken plural. Human broken plural can can be two things. She and singular or M masculine or plural. Both is possible. Both. When is when? It, it depends on some of the things, but it's a bit advanced. Okay. So it could be. So if you see in the Quran and we'll see a lot of examples slowly later on when you know the sentence and everything that if you see a, 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 a human broken plural, it could consider as she. The gender of the whole thing will be she, okay? And whenever I say gender and number, don't think the real thing. It is the properties of that word, of that word, okay? For non-human, it is always she and always singular. Always she and always singular, okay? For example, masjid. The word masjid is singular, meaning one masjid. And it is masculine. Why masculine? Because it doesn't follow all my six categories. It's not a body part. It's not a tamar buta. It is not a biological feminine. Okay, this is not Arab state. So, so by default, it is masculine. But when I say masajid, I just added extra alif. Masajid, meaning masjids, mosques, lot of masjids. Okay, at that time, this word became a broken plural. And it is non-human broken plural. At that time, the gender of this word masajid is feminine and the number of this is one singular although we're talking about masjids you know s in english there's s but because it's a broken plural you have to say it is feminine and it is singular okay one more example so there are a few here i can see in the chart uh, some of the um, broken plural here 
okay and you can look at them most of all of them follow this for example you know uh, fuadun meaning emotional heart a heart fuad means heart also okay and afidatun is the emotional heart in the plural form but afidatun is because it's non human broken plural non human it is considered singular it is feminine and and the word is feminine it is considered singular also afidatun has a clue also it's tamarbuta any word with tamarbuta is feminine anyway okay um look at this one you know uh, ni'amun and ni'amatun okay shahidun shuhada witness that's broken plural okay nabi you know we already talked about that okay so there are different kinds of broken broken plural you have to remember one thing if the broken plural is a human type then it have two possibility 3m or 1f if it is non human then it's only one thing 1f singular and feminine singular and feminine okay there are this is category number 6 there are some words like you know in our last uh, week when we said that you know there are some word arab said so they are feminine right so there are some word they are called ism jama so they are plural by their meaning they know there no other reason their meaning sounds plural so that's why they are plural but they looks like singular for example these are the words and these are all from the quran for example kaumun means a nation nas means people okay karun means generation ahl means family or people okay khasmun means a group okay hizbun means a group also jundun means army alun means family all these words are if you look at the meaning that right? nation a nation is not one person right so by meaning they are plural people you know will auzubira bin nas okay which is the surah nas right nas means people so this is the word nas is plural okay karun means generation also plural okay you know ahl al kitab as we say okay the people of the book ahl also means family they are plural so these words are plural by plural by meaning okay plural by meaning okay so if you look at this thing screen at the moment so finding plural what is the process if you find a word you first thing is it a sound or combination if you if if the word is a combination and these are the combination ani aini una ina atun atin then you easily know what are their num what kind of plural are there are the dual are the masculine are the feminine because it's from the chart as long as you know the chart anything with combination you can find them if it is a sound only okay and if the meaning is present meaning i you know the meaning or i have given you the meaning okay in that case it could be singular or broken plural if it is broken plural then it could be either human you have to check is it a human broken plural or non human broken plural if it is human plural it has two possibility grammatically 1f or 3m okay human humans one okay non human is only 1f 1f okay so this is the this is the way to find the plural and tell the plural what is the plural okay everybody okay with that i'm not going to go any more. so this is actually uh, our number that's what we have to do so we have six categories of numbers three from the chart una ina number 1 atuna tin number 2 for human atuna tin number 3 for non human four and five is our broken plural non human and human broken plural six number six category there are few words only eight words i think eight or nine words they are plural because the meaning is plural for example nas okay uh, ahl okay uh, kaum kaum means you know you know nation okay so all these words are feminine okay so this is the process of finding finding the plural okay and and that's actually comes to the end of the number so number is a very short chapter but it is tricky when it comes to broken plural okay and that's why this what you're seeing on this screen which i'm going to give it to you obviously in in you know i'll upload it and you can find the pdf there this is very important to understand okay when you see try to find it find the plural okay so brothers and sisters do you have any question regarding this then then i know and then next week we'll do some exercise also and i'm going to give you some exercise so it will be more clear okay any question on this plural thing anyone yes uh, sister go ahead yeah when you were talking about the combination sound you never mentioned the ani and tiny is it 
Oh, yeah. yeah. No, Tani is Tani also there. Is. It's not there here. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. You're correct. The Tani and Tani is not here in this screen, but they also included because they are also... Uh, actually, why they are not here, I'll tell you, sister, because Tani and Tani actually is the same as Ani and Aini. This is the extra Ta. You know, so that's why, you know, because if you just put a T, because they also ends with Ani and Aini, but they have an extra Ta because of the feminine chart. Okay, so that's it. But yeah, you're right. So you can say all eight combinations should be here. Yes, that's right. Anything else, anybody? No? All good? Okay, so for example, let's see. If I ask you, let's so let's see. Let's just go ahead. Um, let's talk about another uh, example. Uh, for example, there's a word called uh, kulub. Kulub, okay. Does anyone know what is kulub means? Heart. Heart. Kulub means heart. Okay, so so kalb means one heart, and kulub means many hearts. Is it a broken plural? Does it sound like a broken plural or a normal plural? Kulub, the word kulub, is it, does it sound like a broken mm -hmm. plural or a normal plural? It's of course, it's a broken plural because it doesn't have una in it. I don't say kulubuna or kulubina, right? So it's, it's a broken plural, right? So if it is a broken plural, what type of broken plural? Is it a human broken plural or non-human broken plural? Anyone? Hearts, so obviously non-human. Non yes, of course, non-human. So non-human broken plural. Now the word kalbun, the word, word kalbun is a singular, and kulubun is plural. So now, if I ask you, what is the gender of the word kulubun? What will be the answer? Is it masculine or feminine? So broken plural, so feminine. Always feminine. Non-human broken, so always feminine. Okay, it's so always always feminine. And what is the what is the number? Singular, dual, or plural? It is singular. Although we're talking about hearts, okay, the real word, the meaning of the word is hearts, but the gender is, is, is uh, feminine and number is singular. So non-human broken plural always consider feminine singular. Human one can have both. Could be her feminine singular and also masculine plural. Okay, masculine plural. Okay. Anybody, any other questions? No, all good? Just a high level question most probably. Sure. How are all these concepts uh, useful in identifying words or, you know, how is this practically going to be? Yeah, it, it will It will come, brother. This is a very common question because, you know, okay. we've been here. But uh, because we're learning the basics now, sure. very soon you will see very soon you'll see the practical thing. So when you, we're gonna do aya, you know, one aya, and we look at the aya, and you will see, oh, okay, why this is this, okay? Because you, because it's a singular thing, that's why it's like this. Oh, okay. this is this is. You will see the implications soon, very soon, okay? You'll see the very soon, okay? But you just have to wait because you know you have to learn the basics first, okay? <laughs> then we can sure, jump. Sure. Yeah, I know this is very common because in a lot of brothers, okay, how I, I still cannot connect to the convert. Just give some weeks, okay. Once your foundation is good, you will start because we are you have to understand we are learning word now, only one word. Isim is a word, right? There are three kinds of yes. words, we're learning one kind of word. Then we'll see next after two weeks, inshallah, we'll see what happens the two words come together, not one word. So more than one word, maybe two or three words comes together. What happens then? Then we'll see multiple words comes together and make a sentence. Okay, and that's when you will realize. I know the implication of all this, inshallah. Okay. So let's go step by step, inshallah, and we'll, we'll go there very soon. Don't worry. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. If nobody has any other question, then I'm going to pause the video, stop the recording, inshallah.